and on Moscow streets, thousands of anti-war protesters have expressed their condemnation for Russia's invasion of its neighbor, while the country's economy cripples from Western sanctions. The RUSI fears Russia may be using a chilling mobile crematorium to cover up any potential combat losses, as it allegedly did in Ukraine in 2014, a concern echoed by UK's Defence Secretary Ben Wallace. It's thought Russia has committed almost a million of its troops to this operation. That's 90% of its full capacity. And many of these fighters are not battle-hardened veterans. A Russian senator even lamented the military's heavy losses of conscripts in one conflict zone. To the dismay of his political allies, there's no denying that Putin's invasion of Ukraine has not gone exactly to plan. But could he be overthrown? The thousands of civilian deaths have led the International Criminal Court to say they plan to investigate Putin for war crimes. It's claimed the evidence is becoming a growing list. And if he was ever convicted, Putin could face life in prison. But getting hold of the autocrat and his cronies would be a near impossible task, given that it's unlikely he'll leave Russia for the foreseeable future. And Putin's reclusive nature has seen him further limit contact to his inner circle. However, as Western financial sanctions begin to bite the Russian economy, those whom he made rich may start to question their allegiance. As the oligarchs who made their millions against the corrupt backdrop of the fall of the USSR begin to feel the effects, his support may start to wane. And some believe when the first of his cronies falls away, the rest will be quick to follow.